Welcome back. This is a basic concept problem video. In this video, we will be completing four problems. In a past video, we went over the basic concepts of electric circuit, which we covered power, current, charge, work, or energy, and also voltage. You can go ahead and watch that and come back. And that video, and that video will be linked in the top right of this video. Now, so let's complete these sets of problems. So for the first problem, well, let's go over something before we start. So the passive sign convention is satisfied when the current enters through a positive, positive terminal of an element and that power is positive, or it's satisfied when the current enters through the negative terminal of a element and the power is negative. So that means if the current enters through a positive terminal, the power should be positive. And if it enters through negative terminal, the power should be negative. Also, the conservation of energy must be obeyed in any electric circuit. So for that reason, the algebraic sum of power in a circuit at any instant of time must be equal to zero. Also, with Kirchhoff or Kirchhoff's um, first rule or law, which is KCL, that states that the algebraic sum of all current enter, entering or leaving a node must be equal to zero. And this idea um, by Kirchhoff is commonly just referred to as the conservation of charge, which is the algebraic sum of current must be equal to zero. So we can then go ahead and solve these problems. So for the first problem, we're asked to find the power of the, asked to find the power of element two. So how many watt does element two absorb? It should be positive. So we can use the conservation of energy. We go ahead and use that is equal to zero. We see that P1 is 60 watt, two, we don't know that, three, negative 145, four, 75. So by using our equation, we can go ahead and rearrange. So that will be P1 plus P2 plus P3 plus P4, that should be equal to zero. You can rearrange and go P2 equal to minus P1 minus P3 minus P4. P1 is 60 watts, so that's negative 60 watt. Negative P3. P3 is negative 145, so that's plus 145. Negative P4, negative 75 in watt. So we see that P2 is equal to 10 watt. So we see that if we add everything up, the algebraic sum, the power in the circuit, is equal to zero, which obeys the conservation of energy. So we can then go ahead and complete problem two. So for problem two, we're asked to find the power absorbed by each element in the following circuit. We go ahead and inspect the circuit. We see that for each branch, we have the current. For each element, we have the voltages. So that means we can then go ahead and use P is equal to V times I while obeying sign convention. So for P1, the current and the voltage, no, oh, yep. So for P1, we have 30 volts and current is entering the negative terminal. So that current is negative, negative 10 amperes and that'll give us negative 300 watt. 
we're going to use s for supply and sometimes they say it's delivered so we're going to say supply or delivered for p2 current is entering the positive terminal of that element so that's a positive 10 volts times a positive 10 amperes which is equal to 100 watt and we're going to use a for absorbed p3 we see that the current is entering the positive terminal the volt is 20 the current is 14 amperes so that will give us 280 watt and a for absorbed so we then go to p4 current is entering the negative terminal so that current is negative so p4 we get 8 volts negative 4 amperes which is equal to negative 32 watt and that supplied are delivered. For P5, we see that the current is flowing through the negative terminal. So by, again, sign convention, the voltage is 12 volts. Current is negative 4. So we get negative 48 watt and that is supply or delivered. And this should, in our case, does obey the conservation of energy. So if you add all the power up, absorbed or delivered by each element, that should be equal to zero. And that's it for this problem. So the third problem or asked to find the current and power absorbed by each element in the following network. So I wanted to state something. So notice that we have power being supplied, supplied, supplied. However, we're asked to find the power absorbed by each element in the following circuit. So I think this should be supplied or absorbed by each element of the following circuit. So if we inspect our circuit, we need to find current and power by each element in the following circuit. So we need to find I. After we find I, we need to find each element's power. So when we expect our circuit, we see that we have 10 amperes, 4 amperes, and I. So we can then go ahead and use the conservation of charge, and that would be Kirchhoff's first law, which is KCL, to find the current. So let's go ahead and do that. So that states that the algebraic sum current in a node entering or leaving a node uh, must be equal to zero so we can call this node node one or just n and we have 10 amperes leaving the node 4 amperes entering the node so thus we can go ahead and say that we have four amperes. If it's entering the node, it's positive. If it's leaving the node, it's negative. So that minus 10 amperes minus I is equal to zero. We go ahead, we have a minus I and that equal to 10 amperes minus four amperes, which we which I is equal to six, and that should be a negative six ampere. Negative six amperes. So the current I is equal to negative six amperes. So now that we have the current I, let's 
analyze the circuit again. So we know we have the current in this branch, the voltage of that element, current of this branch, voltage of that element, current in this branch, voltage of both element. Thus we can find the power for each element. So we can go ahead, P1, and we're going to call this one, one, two, three, and four. So those are the element numbers. So P1 has a negative current because the current is flowing through the negative terminal. So that would be a 15 volt times a negative 10 amperes. And that will give us negative 150 watt. So that is being delivered. So supply or delivered. Then we go P2. We have the current entering the positive terminal. So that is a positive 15 volts times positive four amperes, which gives us 60 watt, and that is being absorbed. P3, we have, so for P3, so for element three, element four, the current is entering the negative terminal of each element. So our current should be negative in each case. So the current will be, the power will be delivered or supplied. So that's a, for element three, nine volt times negative six amperes. And that should be in our case, lost myself oh nine times six so that should be 54 so that should be negative okay this is why I lost myself so nine the current is entering the negative terminal so that should be negative and the current is negative so that should be a positive six and that should be 54 Watt. So the sign convention got me a while ago. So you have to pay attention for that one. And P4 is equal to six volts. And at the same time, again, power should be negative because entering the negative terminal, but then the current is negative. So that switches the power from negative to being positive. So that'd be six times six. Yeah, six, so positive six, 36 watt. And that is being absorbed. Also, this is being absorbed and this should obey the conservation of energy, which is equal to the following. And if you add all that up, should follow our conservation. So as you can see, over this side of the circuit, we can call this loop one and loop two. In loop two, the current is negative, but also by sign convention, when the current enters a negative terminal, the power comes out to be negative. So I was a little bit stuck on this one because I wanted to write a negative power, but I know that that power should be positive and I was wondering why. So the reason is it's positive because the current is negative and by sign convention, when the current is entering through negative terminal, both negative cancel out and that becomes positive. So you have to keep an eye out for these sign convention rules or little concepts of sign convention, but the way the problem is structured. So that's it for this problem. See you in the next one. Bye.